Okay, Duke Wheatley here with a, another video that how-to tutorial. It's going to show you three ways to add depth to your text. Uh, the three methods we're going to cover are a simple drop shadow, uh, two layers of the same uh, text with different colors, and you can grow a layer for a backdrop. So here we are in the GIMP and let's uh, control N for new and let's do it uh, 750 fairly standard uh, header or 800 is is fairly common also but we're going to go with 750 I uh, now 150 and hit OK and let's go to the gradient tool to start out with uh, got quite a selection here uh, we'll go to I like the blue green fade so let's grab that. We'll go from one corner to the other and get a pretty good pattern there. Now let's go select the text tool and now one thing we're going to do right off the bat is hit the move tool and GIMP always defaults to pick a layer or guide and when you when it does that and you go trying to move anything you're moving the background so uh, let's go ahead and change this and this will be okay as long as we keep GIMP open uh, as soon as we close it again we're gonna have to reset this so uh, anyway we've take, got that taken care of uh, let's uh, click on the letter and the text tool and let's go down to seabird heavy uh, bold and let's uh, just save time here and type in 50 and we're going to use uh, white so foreground of white and let's go with that hit OK and click anywhere in here and our text editor will come up and we're going to type in uh, grab great traffic And we're also going to copy this because we're going to use this later when we do the overlay uh, for adding depth, uh, depth to your text. And uh, so let's copy this and keep it in the clipboard. And then when we pull this editor up again, we'll just uh, control V and paste it in here and we'll have our text again. So close this. Uh, use our move tool. And we can move this around and also once we've clicked inside with the cursor we can also use our arrow keys to just fine tune this so anything that you're moving you can fine tune it with the arrow keys okay the first thing we're going to do is do the drop shadow so let's go into filters and bring that down and go down to light and shadow and then over of course to drop shadow. Now when we do the drop shadow and let's pull this out where we can see it uh, we might want to use 10 in here and 10 for the Y offset give you a little bit more and the blur radius we'll leave it 15 and we'll leave the color black. Now another thing too is don't if you're going to rotate the text do the drop shadow after you rotate it because uh, the, ro the drop shadow won't follow the rotated text so let's hit OK and here you've got a little drop shadow behind your, te your text so let's hit control Z to get rid of that because we're now going to show you how to grow a layer behind here so uh, let's go over to our text layer which is grab great traffic and let's right click it and go down here to alpha to selection and then you'll see these little ants moving around uh, now the next thing we want to do is right click again and we're going to add a new layer we're going to call this border because that's what it's going to be so we'll type in border and we're going to leave it at uh, transparency so we hit uh, OK and now we go up to select and 
and down to grow and we'll grow this by you can experiment for whatever you want but uh, we'll start out with six here and hit OK and you can see where it's grown around this text and uh, now let's go over here and uh, select the paint bucket and for a foreground color we're going to go with red hit OK and now let's go ahead and just hit anywhere in this text with the paint bucket and it'll be red and that's of course not exactly what we want but that's very easy to solve all we have to do is go over here and move this border let's click on the border and let's go down and hit the arrow and move it back behind the other layer so we just click the arrow and there you've got uh, a red border behind your white text so that's another way to add a little depth to your text now let's uh, hit control Z again and go up here and we'll select none at the get rid of all that selection and uh, now let's go over to the text tool again and we're going to leave the color as red and we have 50 and we're going in our we got seabird heavy so it's got to be exact same font as you uh, used previously and be sure and not uh, click inside of here or it's going to all turn it all red or turn uh, click somewhere else on the canvas and down here we'll just hit control V now grab great traffic and hit close go up here and hit our move tool and now let's just go up here and move this for a little offset and let's put it right exactly on and now we're going to use the keyboard uh, arrows just to show you how fine ad an adjustment you can get here and there you go uh, you've just learned three ways to add a little uh, uh, depth to your text and hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in another one thanks a lot